Today we're going to review the new FDM printer from Fox Lab. My name is Bashar and this is Top 3D Printing. Foxolab know as a resin print, but this the new the FDM printer, Aquila, they're their first print and the price come with it, it's very interesting, is $199 US dollars and uh, the build size is 220 by 220 by 250 which is really not big compared if you're looking for a big print, but as a star printer I think this will be very well sized. Now the printer come with a basic uh, hot end, but the good thing is come with the, the glass bit. I really love the glass bit and the screen. This is what the new feature come with and is different. If you want to compare it with the under 3 version 2, which is, I see this is cheaper for me. Unfortunately, I was planning to unbox it, uh, record the unboxing plus the assembly, but I don't know what happened for my folders. They're being deleted. That's why I apologize for that. I have some footage. I will leave it later in my video. Uh, you can see it when I'm talking about the printer. Uh, that's why I apologize for that. But if you have a problem when it's come for assemble, please leave me a comment. I'll be happy to help you. But for assemble, was, it's, it's really, uh, it was easy. Uh, I followed the manual. Was, uh, it was really nice manual. It's like have a colors and all the details come with it. Uh, the packaging was back very well. All the tools I need, it was in the bag, the Allen key, the screw, there was nothing missing. Most of the time when it's a cheaper printer or low budget printer, most of the time they're missing something. But with this printer, was everything was good, was back very well. And as I mentioned, it's really, really uh, was easy to assemble. Uh, I just followed the guide, uh, the manual guide and step by step and doesn't take too much I would say for a new or beginner for 3D printing will take him an hour for somebody build many printers like that their second or third printer will take him like a, around 45 minutes to build it it's not like under three when it's like every piece you need to uh, assemble it know what's everything ready uh, I just I think I the gather and the ZX and those stuff I always need to build it again but other was simple to, uh, to assemble once I done the assemble and was everything good I turn it on and build was easy to level it is doesn't take me like I said I will say four to five minutes I just do it three times after that the printer was ready to go I saw our first print I, th I remember I print that uh, that's like a test models to test how is how is the printer test and the cooling and all these shape the symbol fil filament come with the printer the, the red color <laughs> I really like the color I think they also they make filament I don't know I will check this was my first printer uh, this out great out from the box you can see it's it's really good like look at this like the cooling and all these stuff it was really good like there was no issue with it and it doesn't take too much time to print that. Uh, was that mean is the print still print good? This is the first thing. But I was tired. I want to go to sleep that time when I received the printer. I was worried about tingling from my extruder. I changed the filament with the silver one and I print the second thing. Uh, this is the hook here. You can see it. I was impressed when I see it in the morning. It's very, very well. It's very good. It's great. It's out of the box. You can see like all these details and easy to remove. Now the third things I for the extruder also come out perfect look at that the hole for it there's no string there's nothing in it was great I was impressed every time I print with was something with in the memory card but I said you know what let's keep continue for what in the memory card I print this pin holder uh, I was impressed for the quality look at that there's no string there's nothing this has come out from great out from the box and that's what's come from the printer <laughs> I was happy with the result you know like it's it's great out of the box with the memory but as I said many times when you get those memory card they're being built perfect for the print then I was planning to start slicing st some st Stuff to test the printer. The first thing I was tested is the this butterfly with the gold. I slashed it in the Cura. I used the the profile they provided in the memory card. I was not really happy about the quality from the slicer, but in general it was turned out good. You can see it. It was beautiful come out without without any problem. But there was some shrinking here. I don't know if you can see it. The second thing I was trying to print is something big. This is the brush holder, like to hold all the stuff. You I print those two pieces separate and this separate you can see it's still good now 
I can see there's some string here and here and that time I decide to slice something to try. The first thing I slice is this this man. This guy was really interested how to print it. Was printed up down, okay, like this. And it turns out really, really good. The details and all these stuff. But once I want to remove it, there was some support. I messed it up and broke it. But that, not that I would say the printer. Well, that's my fault. I was hurry. I want to just remove it because I really impressed with the result. And look at that with a like just profile I changed I didn't do any tune or go do a lot of tuning but just that I did some stuff in my profile and come out very well the next thing was this octopus was come out perfect like look at this it's beautiful have no problem and that's what you get when you buy 199 you're like it's beautiful how it's come out perfect without any problem or any issue and after that also I slide the Mandalorian with the copper filament and it turns out beautiful look at that and have some issue here with the cooling but it, this is without any support and this is not easy for any printer to do and, and the result perfect uh, the last thing I Try. I print also what of my favorite thing I all the time I print is the shop card release and also come out very well beautiful and I say it like in general for for the printer is doing amazing now what I don't like for in this printer there I would say there's nothing too much I don't like for the printer as I says I really impressed for the price for 199 and the result I've been getting it's it's really beautiful look at the, all these stuff come out to print the only issue maybe I will I will will change in the future is the switch for the power it's in the back it's really hard to reach sometimes but it's not like a big deal it's not like a problem but you can you still will be good now what I like in this printer I like for sure the price for 199 US dollar and 250 Canadian dollar you get this beautiful amazing printer which is really really good was easy also the bed leveling most of the cheaper printer their bed they're not per that's not good and they have some issue and take you too much time to level it but it was great for me also I get the bed glass most of the sheet printer uh, the low budget printer they give you those uh, middle one like the fold like the under three that's why it's really, really beautiful to see a glass which is good and easy to use for to print I forget to mention the how that screen is beautiful the screen is really really beautiful I like this uh, the color screen how it's easy to use and move it around uh, half silent port I don't hear any nose the only issue was the nose from the hot end which is it's not Normal, but otherwise the printer it's it's really good I'm really impressed with the with the price and the quality I get now this printer is good for the new for somebody new to 3d printer obviously yes it's amazing I will recommend it a lot buy it for somebody at a second printer also yes I will recommend it because if you like to print some small objects or small stuff or to help your big printer this is will be a good choice for you and, and this price is really cheap and also if you like to upgrade stuff and change the stuff also this is symbol uh, build there's nothing Think a lot to, to learn about it will be uh, similar with under 3 version 2 uh, also one other thing I was like I think this is for the BLT touch this is ready to go here you just that's something like nice they already think about it in general this is my what I think about the aqua from foxy lab it's really really good printer if you have a question or you need to know more about the printer please leave me a comment I'll be happy to answer those questions uh, thank you and I will see you in the next video and don't forget to hit like and subscribe